Imagine a creature that has been swimming in our rivers since before the dinosaurs vanished. This is the white sturgeon, a gentle giant, a living relic of ancient waters. Its power isn't in flashy colors or sharp teeth, but in its endurance and history. The white sturgeon glides silently through deep river channels, a king in its underwater realm. It's a survivor from a forgotten era, a living link to Earth's distant past. Our story begins in the cool, deep channels of a mighty river where the sturgeon makes its home. Think of it not just as a fish, but as a time traveler, witnessing ice ages, rising mountains, and vanishing species. It prefers the solitude of the river's depths, patrolling its territory with slow, deliberate grace. Perfectly adapted, it's a master of its domain. Each movement a clue to its ancient lineage. The white sturgeon's tail is one of endurance, connecting us to a world more wondrous than we remember. As we follow its journey, we'll uncover the secrets that have allowed it to thrive for millions of years. Prepare to be amazed by the majestic white sturgeon, a living legend of strength and beauty. The white sturgeon rules North America's great western rivers, from the Fraser to the Columbia and Sacramento. Some spend their lives in fresh water, while others journey to the Pacific and back to spawn. These rivers, shaped over millennia, are the perfect home, deep, cold, and full of hidden currents. The sturgeon seeks out the deepest pools, conserving energy and searching for food along the riverbed. It navigates by touch and smell, using sensitive barbels to explore a world of textures and chemical signals. For the sturgeon, the river is a living map, a sanctuary that has sustained its kind for generations. Clean, unobstructed waterways are vital for their survival, especially for long migrations to spawn. Dams and pollution threaten these ancient fish by disrupting their habitat and life cycle. Protecting the sturgeon means protecting the rivers themselves, ensuring they remain wild and healthy. The fate of the river and the sturgeon are forever intertwined, a story of survival in a changing world. The white sturgeon is North America's largest freshwater fish, a true river giant. Some have reached over 20 feet long and nearly 2,000 pounds, living for a century or more. Their immense size reflects their age. A three-foot sturgeon might already be a teenager. These slow-growing giants become too large for natural predators, surviving floods, droughts, and decades of change. Each massive sturgeon is a living library, carrying the river's history within its bones. Anglers who encounter them speak of awe, a brief connection with the force of nature. Their size is more than a statistic. It's the essence of their majesty and survival. The largest sturgeon are not just big. They are wise elders of the river. Their presence is a reminder of the wildness that still exists in our world. The white sturgeon is the undisputed monarch of the river's depths. The white sturgeon's body is armored with five rows of bony plates called scutes, natural shields from a prehistoric past. Young sturgeon have sharp, pronounced scutes for protection. As they grow, their sheer size becomes their best defense. Their tough, leathery skin and torpedo shape let them glide effortlessly through the water. The sturgeon's tail is heterocircle, upper lobe longer than the lower, like a shark's, another ancient trait. Its head is covered in a bony plate, and from its snout hang four sensitive barbels. These barbels act like fingertips, detecting food hidden in the mud and gravel. The sturgeon's mouth is toothless and protractile, shooting out to vacuum up prey from the riverbed. This feeding system lets it forage efficiently, even in complete darkness. 
The sturgeon's unique design is a perfect adaptation for survival over millions of years. It is a gentle giant, armored and built for a life of quiet endurance. Despite its size, the white sturgeon is a patient bottom feeder, not a predator. Young sturgeon eat insects, crustaceans and mollusks, using their barbels to find food in the sediment. As they grow, their diet expands to include crayfish, clams, snails, and even other fish, often scavenged rather than hunted. During Eulicon runs, sturgeon gather to feast, building reserves for leaner times. The largest sturgeon consume salmon, lampreys, and even smaller sturgeon, often feeding on salmon carcasses after spawning. Acting as the river's cleanup crew, they recycle nutrients back into the ecosystem. Their opportunistic diet allows them to adapt to whatever the river provides. Feeding is a quiet, methodical process, barbels trailing, mouth extending to create powerful suction. Inedible material is expelled through their gills, leaving only the nutrients they need. This efficient feeding mechanism sustains their immense bodies in deep, murky waters. The sturgeon's flexible diet is key to its survival in a changing environment. It thrives as a gentle giant, patiently searching for food along the riverbed. The white sturgeon looks like it belongs to another era, armored, ancient and unchanged. Its lineage dates back to the time of dinosaurs, surviving mass extinctions that wiped out most life. Sturgeon are living fossils, their basic design unchanged for millions of years. Like the Coelacanthan horseshoe crab, they found a winning evolutionary formula early on. Their slow metabolism, adaptability and armored bodies have helped them endure. The sturgeon is a time capsule, a whisper from a lost world still swimming in our rivers. Its survival is a testament to nature's resilience and the stability of deep water habitats. Scientists call the white sturgeon a living dinosaur thanks to its primitive features. Its skeleton is mostly cartilage, like a shark's, and its armored scutes recall prehistoric creatures. The sturgeon's slow metabolism and scavenging habits helped it survive ancient cataclysms. As dinosaurs vanished, sturgeon swam on, carrying the torch of life into a new era. The name Living Dinosaur is a tribute to its history and resilience. Every sturgeon is a glimpse into the age of dinosaurs connecting us to Earth's deep past. It's a humbling reminder that the ancient world still lives on in our rivers. The white sturgeon is vital to its river ecosystem, acting as a bioturbator and scavenger. As it forages, it stirs up sediment, releasing nutrients and oxygenating the riverbed. This gardening supports a rich community of life and keeps the river healthy. By consuming fish carcasses, sturgeon recycle nutrients and prevent disease. They link marine and freshwater environments, transferring energy through the ecosystem. As a sensitive, long-lived species, sturgeon are indicators of river health. Protecting them means protecting the entire river and its web of life. Today, the white sturgeon faces threats its ancestors never knew. Dams, pollution and overfishing. These challenges fragment habitats and endanger their survival. But hope remains. Scientists, conservationists and indigenous communities are working to protect them. Hatchery programs and habitat restoration offer a lifeline for this slow-growing species. Education inspires people to care, turning awareness into action for river health. Every advocate helps secure a future for the sturgeon and the rivers they call home. Protecting the sturgeon preserves not just a species, 
but the wildness of our waterways. With care and commitment, these ancient kings can continue to glide through our rivers for generations to come.